Welcome back. So I did the, you know, the getting started, the basics of Pear Deck, and I started thinking about um, the limitations of the, the basic, the free account yesterday. And I thought to dig in again and see how many of the, the paid features you could still use if you just manipulated the, um, the free templates. So add-ons again, Pear Deck for Google Slides. So what I mean is like this beginning of lesson one with the, the draggable. So basically the, the free account we are, we will be lacking the ability to create draggables and the ability to use the draw function, which if you remember the draw function is actually really cool because it has um, the ability to, for students to insert text too. So it's, it's uh, has a lot of range and what you could do with it. So I added this one that's got a draggable built in, which of course with the free account you cannot do. So then I just thought, well, of course they can't keep me from changing the background, right? No, they can't. Okay. And I assumed this was just a shape and I assumed correctly. All right. Um, next, I was like, well, this is just going to be a text box. Um, this doesn't mean anything, of course. Um, and then, of course, these are just pictures. Okay. Just created pictures. Now, the stuff at the bottom you need to leave alone, I'm assuming. That's the thing that makes the draggable work. I didn't really even think about that too much. Um, and then at this point, you can do whatever you want. I will just quickly throw in a couple boxes for the sake of our conversation here today. And I will go as fast as possible and try to clip them, try to clip this out. It's a super basic. I just made a couple of boxes and they're going to drag. Okay. So the point is grab the draggable template and just delete everything off. And then you can make your own and they'll have the blue dot to drag it where they want to drag it. Okay. I have the other one I wanted to look at. Okay. This is one that is built in the draw function. Uh, same deal. Go change my background and then whatevs. Um, okay, so I've changed the directions at this point. Look, they've just put a table, they just inserted a table here for the students to draw or type on top of. And this is just going to be a picture. Okay. That's it. Now check it out. So they say you can't use draggables and you can't use, you can't create your own draw and draggables with the basic free account, but you kind of can. Like maybe there are a whole bunch of options on what you can do with the draggables. Um, I almost assume that they're probably aren't because I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't assume that. Um, but I guarantee that the, the draw one is just the same. I mean, what could you add or you subtract? You couldn't really change it. All right. Just want to show you that it works. All right. Go back to the teacher one, start class. Okay, so here's the, the draggable one I adapted. Drag to either box depending on which reality you're in. Okay, they are in reality B. So they've done it. And I can, of course, see that the student is in reality B. Okay, next slide. And we've done it. You know, we're using 
draw and we're using draggables however which way we like um, which is totally awesome awesome awesomer if i could spell it okay that's it those are my, those are my basic hacks okay um just grab the grab the pre-made templates and delete the stuff off and do what you want to do Okay, it's going to get you a lot more mileage uh, with the, the basic free account than you would have without it. Cool? All right. Later.